The member for Mallee. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Agriculture, Drought and Emergency Services. Will the Minister outline to the House how new technologies are supporting the Morrison McCormack Government national soils and biodiversity stewardship strategies, which will assist in securing the future of our agricultural industry, care for our country and build a strong Australia? The Minister for Agriculture, Drought and Emergency Management. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Thank, can I thank the member for Mallee for a question and acknowledge the significant contribution that Lecturer of Mallee makes towards the $65 billion agricultural industry and the pivotal role Mallee will take in helping agriculture reach its ambitious goal of $100 billion by 2030. Here, here. But to achieve that goal, you have to have the right foundations. And that foundation starts with our soils. Our soils contribute around $930 billion indirectly to our economy each year. So their health is pivotal and important to our, not only agriculture, but to our environment and our whole economy. That's why uh, the Prime Minister of the National Press Club outlined that one of the key focus this year for our government is around caring for country. And that aligns with our Ag 2030 plan and one of the strategic pillars of that around stewardship, empowering our farmers, giving them the tools to manage their soils, manage their country, not only for increased productivity, but also for managing the environment. And a lot of that work has already been done, and we have to acknowledge the great work that Major General Jeffries uh, undertook as our first national soils advocate. Uh, he has left a lasting legacy because he's of his passion and commitment for soils. And that's now been taken on by the Honourable Penelope Winsley, AO, uh, and she will carry on in those footsteps, as big as they are, in ensuring that we have a tactile response around real real outcomes that farmers can understand, extension work, where how we've got people sitting around kitchen tables explaining the science, collecting the data so that we're equipping those farmers with the new science, the new technology, and allowing them to implement it on their farm. Those are the, those are the real outcomes that we continue to look for. And that's complemented with the collection of the science through a $40 million investment through our soil CRC, making sure that the cutting edge science and technology is continued to be invested in by government, but also industry, and that's making sure those tools are real. We've also said through the Minister for Energy, we have now created $14 million to try and understand and measure carbon in soil. The moment's around $30 a hectare to be able to undertake that. If we can get it down to around $3, that's transformational for our farmers to play another significant role, not just in the stewardship of their land, but in the reduction of, of emissions and carbon in our, in our, in our environment letting farmers do the heavy lifting as they have always done. And that complements our biodiversity stewardship fund, $34 million, and I'm proud to say that the ANU has just completed the work around being able to assess the improvement in biodiversity of our farmers from the start to go and being able to re reward them through a number of existing, existing programs that the government's been putting out, rewarding farmers for the stewardship of their land, improving the biodiversity, baiting carbon, but improving the biodiversity of our country. These are significant investments, not just in our economy, in protecting our economy, but it's also about protecting Australia.